Hearing loss, I know, began when I was a young captain in the Army. Contribution to noise-induced hearing loss from repeated gunfire uh, and high-frequency, high-performance aircraft engines, I think, can take its toll on the human hearing mechanisms. We hear with our brains. That may seem a counterintuitive thing to say, but the cochlea sends information to the brain. When I was around the table with the family, I would be turning my head trying to hear from this ear and more than accommodate for my left ear, which had declining hearing. As hearing becomes more difficult, we have to work much harder to understand what's being said. Look at people, read their lips, at the end of the day, you're really tired. You often have headaches. It can lead to high blood pressure. We have to think of it not just as simply a quality of life issue, but also we should think about hearing loss as a risk factor for other diseases that can severely impact quality of life, such as dementia. It's this building epidemic. My mother, now 88 years old, has hearing loss, pretty significant. I've talked to her about the problems associated with not having hearing aids and keeping connected with her family. Hearing loss and tinnitus is the number one veteran complaint coming back from Afghanistan and Iraq today. What I have are some hearing aids that the Veterans Administration is now uh, issuing these to people who are out of the military. We have to let people know that this could be a normal part of our lives and then we have to intervene so that our quality of life does not deteriorate. At least the last 10 or 15 years that I've been in hearing aids, I've been a better mother. When I have a conversation with my kids, it's more of me truly listening and participating with them. As I learned more, I thought it important to get a hearing aid and it really was a life changer.